Four-star wide receiver Tayshawn Trent has committed to Michigan. I'm Clayton Safey with EJ Holland. We got full coverage up at thewolverine.com. You can use the promo code BLUE60 for 60 days of our premium content for free. You can discuss the new commitment with thousands of Michigan fans on our message board, The Fort. Uh, we appreciate our sponsors, Lewis Jewelers. But, EJ, let's break this whole thing down. So, uh, Tayshawn Trent. A four-star, he's a versatile type guy. We'll talk about his game in just a second. Um, but how did this go down with him? Uh, Ron Bellamy getting in the mix late. Obviously, the new uh, Michigan safeties coach who was started out as the wide receivers coach. But Josh Gaddis leading the charge here. Uh, what do you think made Trent choose Michigan? Well, I think with Trent, he was always high on Michigan. I think it was more of a matter of would Michigan push for him. Um, he's definitely a big intriguing prospect and we'll talk a little bit more about him uh here shortly but i think with michigan it was just more of sorting out the board then you had ron bellamy come in to recruit wide receivers and abruptly get moved to safeties and so i think once they they got things figured out and they decided that they really like trent i know when bellamy came on board uh is when they really started to recruit him a little harder um, you know, Bellamy obviously having ties throughout the Detroit Metro. I know Bellamy from talking to uh, sources close to the program. I know Bellamy was very high on him just as a guy with a lot of upside and Gaddis offered him um, last year. So they've been tracking him for a while. They've been recruiting him, but I think they just recently turned up the heat. You know, they're making it a priority to keep talented guys in their own backyard to kind of seal the borders. And so Michigan State had made him a top target for quite a while. I mean, he was one of their top overall guys on the board, but obviously Michigan's not really losing many battles to Michigan State here as of late. Uh, and so once Michigan decided to make a make the big push, I think it was kind of similar to uh, Andre Anthony last cycle, who was considered a Michigan State lean a guy that was very high on the Spartans board. And once Michigan decided, okay, this is a guy we definitely want, let's go all in on him, the tide really turned. So I think it, it was very, very similar to Andre. Yeah, you mentioned Michigan State, Kentucky, West Virginia, other primary contenders for Tayshaun Trent, but obviously deciding to stay home from the Detroit area uh, and go to Ann Arbor, go to Michigan here in the class of 2022, obviously. 6'4", 205, though, this is a big body for a wide receiver. I know Josh Helmholt from Rivals thinks he could be a very, very good tight end. Um, you're kind of thinking possibly linebacker, possibly on the defensive side of the ball. I guess what does he bring to the table as an athlete that maybe you could plug in at a couple different spots depending on just how he develops? Yeah, like I said, he's a big, intriguing prospect. Um, he's listed at 6'4", 205. I think he's uh, closer to 215 at this point. Uh, I've seen Trent in three different settings. So I saw him at a camp in the summer in Ohio. And then I saw him practice in August with his team. And I saw him play in the playoffs in November, I believe. So I've had three in-person evaluations. Uh, the thing that sticks out to me the most about Trent is his size. He's just a big, good looking kid and his athleticism. Um, he didn't make a ton of plays at the camp or even in the game that I saw him play against, King absolutely destroyed East Point. But you could just tell the way he moves at that size. It, it, it looks really fluid. Um, I'm not sure that he sticks at receiver. I think he kind of outgrows the position. I know Michigan's looking uh, for big body guys this cycle. I know that's kind of a priority to get at least one big body guy. And so Trent could be that guy, but I do think he outgrows the position. I think if he stays on offense, I agree with uh, Josh Hemhold. I think he'll be more of a flex and tight end. But I think Trent's biggest upside is actually on the defensive side of the ball at linebacker. And so, um, you know, I, I think a lot of Trent's real is playing wide receiver, but he starts at outside linebacker for his high school team. When I went out to East Point uh, for that practice in August, his head coach was like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, he wants to be a receiver, and he's a pretty – damn good receiver, but his biggest upside is that linebacker. And after watching him, you know, those three times, I agree. I think he's big, he's physical, he's athletic, and those types of guys uh, are needed a little more on the defensive side of the ball. I think he can go to Michigan and be a good receiver, a good rotational guy, 
guy that maybe even surprises because he he is a big bodied guy that can make a difference in the red zone. But ultimately, I think the upside where he can make the biggest impact may be at outside linebacker. So it'll just be interesting to see how he continues to grow, what he looks like coming out of the Michigan strength and conditioning program with Trent. He's so hard to project because you don't know how Michigan's going to sculpt his body once he gets there. But I think the biggest thing with him is he is a big body. He is athletic. You take him as an athlete and you figure out what he what he's going to do once you get him on campus. Looking at this class as a whole, um, it's shaping up to be very good. You look at Cody Jones and Taylor Groves, two four-star defensive backs. Michigan, obviously, on Sunday, just closed with five-star corner Will Johnson. So, you know, the defensive side of the ball looks very strong. You look at Devontae Miles, an in-state kid as well out of River Rouge at the defensive line spot. So with Will Johnson, Devontae Miles, and now Tayshawn Trent, you get that in-state type of theme. Um as well as kind of reaching nationally with this new staff, Mo Linguist having the ability to go basically wherever he wants in the country, especially with deep ties to the South and get guys that he wants. Um, kind of early themes with this class for you. What, what are your thoughts overall, I guess, and what Trent brings to this group now going ahead, you know, going forward as they try to kind of, you know, continue to build this class up. Yeah, it's a really good class right now. You have your big fish already on board with Will Johnson, uh, and now you have some intriguing four-star guys like Tayshawn Trent, like uh, Cody Jones, Taylor Groves. Uh, all those guys are really high upside guys. I think now with Will on board, you're going to start seeing some more elite talent uh, jump in the class. Right now it's a very good class. I think it can be a great class uh, with Will kind of helping lead the charge there. You know, top players want to play with top players. Um, and then, you know, I think with Trent and Will on board, it, it definitely helps in the Detroit Metro, not only this cycle, but for the future. Uh, I think, you know, if Michigan can close with Dylan Tatum, that's another big addition uh, in that area. If uh, Michigan can close with Dante Moore in 2023, uh, elite quarterback out of Detroit King, uh, I think that helps a ton too. And I, I think, you know, Will and Tayshawn will help with those guys, you know, Dylan, um and Dante are both part of the sound mind sound body program so is Will so is Tayshawn so I think you know all those guys have talked about playing together and I think Michigan is becoming more of an appealing option because the perception now is that they want to keep the top players close to home and and they've done that with Rayshon Benny they've done that with Donovan Edwards two big personalities uh, last cycle, and now they've done it with Will Johnson, who's the most respected kid in the Metro, uh, and whose father runs, uh, helps run the the Sound My Sound Body program. Dion, who's also also happens to be an ex Wolverine, so I think it all makes sense for Michigan to kind of put to rest that narrative that their in state recruiting is not up to par. I think they're starting to to really make it a priority. And the perception is that it is a priority for them to keep uh, Detroit kids at home. Yeah, I think that actually is the perception now. I think the the perception is over that um, Michigan's going to continue to struggle because they put their they're putting some of those eggs in in that basket of we want to keep the talent home. Um, and they're certainly off to a good start with that in the 2022 class. Obviously, we mentioned Will Johnson. That that helps, right? And then, uh, you know, guys like Devontae Miles. And then this is a big one as well with Tayshawn Trent. But everybody can uh, go to thewolverine.com. Check out all the coverage there. We got the commit impact story. We got the uh, just generic commitment story. Um, we have much more. Uh, on the site as well as where Michigan stands in the national recruiting rankings. So check us out at thewolverine.com. But four-star wide receiver Tayshawn Trent commits to Michigan. Uh, We will see everybody on the next show.